pay attention on this thing. Look at all those greens. Wow, we. He told me not to take you up here. I said, sure be trying to figure out how to get through that fence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a country girl and that's a lot of food right there. Good time of day. Wow, we. I sure would like to own all this. Sure would like to own all this, I'll tell you that. They build me a nice farm. Fence. Look at all them greens. Oh my goodness. There was a bunch of cows in here earlier this morning eating it right here. Too. Yeah, they're over there too. Yeah, they're packed up over here really good too. Now that little creek that we were in, it's it's spring, it's from the spring and, and it comes out right here at the edge of this up here on this mountain is where the where it comes from. Spring see bed. see down in there? Yeah, it is. It's a, it is a spring. See down a in there? Freshwater spring. Look at them down in there. Yeah, I bet that spring comes out down there too. It does. Look all back in there. There's a bunch of them. It comes out up, up on this mountain right here. It comes out from underneath it and runs underneath it. Yep, it's coming out down in there. Yeah, see right here is a, like a, you can't see it, but it's like a little rock bridge we're on right here. And, and it comes out from underneath I'll tell it. tell you what, that water comes underneath that mountain and up to them springs. That stuff is cold. It's cold. Always cold. Yeah, year round. It's good drinking water. Well, it's got orange lizards in it. Well, that means it's a good sign. You see them orange lizards. That means it's good for you. All right, I think this is the way we go back. I'm not for sure. We're going to experiment here. Yeah, they ain't either. How, you gonna, how do you know? I think this is it. You turned around and you went the wrong way. We need to go right and you went left. What's a skinny old mule? Did you see that poor critter? We don't need to go this way. I think it brings you out in Eggleston. No, it don't. So they're eating all them watercress. I don't know if we came this way or not. Well, I'm telling you, you need to go back and keep going straight because you went left. And we're supposed to go right. Look at that cool old house. That's probably where we used to live. We lived in a big old house like that. Our grandma and them did, and we come around here to them. That could be it. It was a big old house like that. It might not even be there no more. I remember Grandma Stump lived in a house up on a hill like that, and uh, there was a big old pond down. It was on a hill, but you come down something, it was a pond. You, you couldn't get it. It was nasty. It's for cows and stuff. Sometimes I was afraid to go down through there because there'd be a uh, some bulls and stuff, and they'd chase you. They would really chase you. I'd get scared if I seen the cows out. Yeah, Grandpa had a big white bull, brammer bull, whatever. You wouldn't want to get near that thing. Well, I knew ones that were chasing. If I seen them out in the field too close to where we had to go to school and stuff, I didn't want to go or I'd just take off running and get across the fence where we had to be. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we need to turn around. We done got lost. 
you done got lost. You need to turn around and keep going straight. You'll come back out to 100. All right, I'll turn around or somewhere. There he is. He's liking them, ain't he? Cows like it too, I think. Are they getting, are they scared? They're running out already. Are they eating it up or look out? I don't know. I think they're probably smart enough to know not to pull them by the roots, probably. He's got hanging out here the One quicker more than likely. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All we'll right. Try to pick some water crest. Today's a special treat here. We're way back out here in the mountains, and Brenda's going to show us. How, what are you going to show us now? How to pick water crest. They're greens. Mm -hmm. The best greens ever. You get them big boots at. They're my brothers and they're way too big. I can't get my rain boots on. My feet are swollen. And they well, was too tight. Normally I can wear them, but not today. It's a real pretty place back out here where we're at. And we're way in the country today. Yeah. We pulled off this little and side road right my, here. In my stomping grounds. In uh, beautiful Giles County, Virginia. Baby, I need trash bag. What are you taking that tote for? I don't know. Might might have to some place to put my phone or something. No. All right, be right back. You got trash bag? Oh. Right here, these roots. Watch them. Okay. They're slick. Okay. They're real slick. You'll fall in. I ain't kidding. I don't have none this big for you. Okay. Now when I. When I was younger, we never ate nothing like this. I ain't, I never have tried them, but y'all growed up on no them. Snakes out. I'm going, remember what I told you. Well, why don't you let me hold on to you? I'm gonna do put, you want your little wife to fall? I gotta do something for these sharp knives. We're gonna end up falling today. I bet your money on it. I'm already about ready to fall. Don't call me. Let me do it myself. Don't call me whenever you do. Yeah, these rocks are slick, so you got to be careful. There's where your daddy's been getting some from. Well, I'm going to tell you what. This cold water feels good on my feet, though. <clears throat> All right. Brenda, you... let me just lay these down right here somewhere. He said down here would be a good place to go. Down in here. So this is this is the stuff that we're after. Is this right here, right? Ain't nobody gonna mess with the car, honey. Now don't fall on that knife. I don't like stuff like this right here. I know. That's snaky looking. Yeah, it's snaky looking. So, you want to start right in there and show us how you do it, or, or you want to come down here and just get it's started? Like that. I can start right here. Here's some. All right. Show us how y'all supposed to do it. Yeah, you, just, you can grab a whole handful of them like this. You're going to get grass and you're going to get weeds. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to look them anyway. Now, how far are you cutting down? I just cut. You so, have to look them and clean them. You expect me to eat that? Yes. Yeah. Right. You won't ever eat no better. Wait till you get them ate and you'll be, let's go get some more. You're going to get grass because you see all the grass in it. But you don't eat the grass. Why? Well, no, silly. You have to sort it. You have to sort it and clean now, it. Now, some of these are beginning to bloom. In your, you see how far daddy's cut down? Uh-huh. Okay. So your daddy said something about when they start blooming like this? You just cut it out. I mean, they... You're can, not eat that. No, you don't eat that, but okay. you... You're mainly, when you clean them, when you clean them, you're mainly just going to take that part right there. Hold it still. Okay. Maybe a little more of the stem. But when they got the flowers, that means they're blooming, and you have to cook them a little longer because they can be cut. So a, a better time to do this is maybe like maybe two weeks ago. Yeah. About two weeks ago. Yeah. But we're still in an area where it's cold. You know, here in the country, it smells good. It does smell good. Yeah. You want to taste a bite? Sure, I'll try a bite. I've never ate nothing like that. 
Now we eat dandelions, but. And I'll show y'all eat food. Mm. Oh my goodness, I ain't tasted them for so long. Hey, it is kind of kind of good. Mm -hmm. Kind of minty. Now this creek is a spring fed creek. How much I got already. Am I right about that, Brenda? Yeah. That this grows in a like in a spring type? Yeah. So this water is like a branch coming out of the river. Um, it's coming from a spring, your daddy said. Yeah. It's coming from a real big spring. He showed me where it come out at. When we was down here earlier, we went up closer to the mountain where this spring comes from. So this is spring water. And I bet it tastes really good, too. Yeah, but it's probably got some fish and crawl down and all that in here. I'm going to take me a sip of it here in a minute. It ain't going to kill you all down. All right. Let me go ahead and cut it off. And we'll be back in a minute. And I way well, I can help you, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, you know what like mommy said? Get a handful of them. And just cut. Now look, be careful. Don't trip over nothing. Just... Okay, I'm trying, Dave. Okay. I'm all right so far. If I fall down, you have to help me up. All I right? just don't want your phone to get hurt on this old jagged stuff. I just don't want to like being here in your snake really, but these boots would keep me from getting bit. Okay, you have to from talk loud because they can't hear you on top of the string. I said these boots right here keep us from getting bit if a snake's here. Your dad said he's been down here a lot getting easy and he ain't never seen a snake. Well, they're scared of us too. When you put them under pressure, that's when they bite when you scare them. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump in there and help you. Okay. All right. And these knives are sharp. Watch your hands. Gave me. I'm making it up as it goes, David Hall. Okay. That's all. You grab a big hand and cut. These knives are sharp. You got to be careful. You'll cut more than a green. Look how big they are. Wow. Humongous. Look how pretty. Glory to Jesus. You gave us these to eat. They're wonderful, David. They never had any, and I can't believe it. So, did y'all used to do this a lot when you was a kid? No, but we had them near us all the time. All the time. We never had no problems getting them. But I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all always cut them and every year and yep. yeah, and can them and can or them. Freeze them. You know, we didn't have much as far as a freezer, so we can. We can most of our stuff. You might have to be a little louder. I don't know if to pick up or not. We can half of our stuff. You might hear the water over me. I don't know. No wonder your bag got fuller than mine. Why? I'm bigger. <laughs> hey. Gave me the little pack. I ain't fooling around. I got a whole big big I sack here. That. Now, the how does this cook down? Does it cook down to where it ain't hardly none or what? Yes, How's, yes, are yes. There, you know, we we done a lot of collards when I was a kid. And we, had, we ate a lot of collards and they cooked down. So how about this? No, I'm not putting no collards in No, here. I'm saying, does it cook down like... Yes, it cooked down like every green. You know that day you cooked those greens? Yeah. You remember the day I wasn't home and you cooked down greens and your friends was there? Yeah. And you didn't wash them? <laughs> that was so funny. The, one of them said, what'd you say? He said, dang on those rocks in here. You should have... Did you wash them, David? No. No? What, I didn't what, think you're supposed to. I just... What did, you, what did he say to you? He just laughed. Um... I mean, did he ask if you washed them? Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't there, see. So, so how many process will it take to to, pre to pre prep these? So, I mean, we're going to do you the show to on the. Set and water, look them real good. And get all the weeds and the grass and the uh -huh. the the uh, crawdads, lizards, whatever you get. Now, some of these that I cut, the stalks is pretty big. I mean, uh, thick. You don't cook the thick stalks, you or see when they're real long like that, David. I get them right up here. Okay, I know, but you know, I cut them off. That's, the, that's you the don't idea. Cook all that stalk. When you look them, you'll cut a lot of that off. A lot of that off. Okay. So well, if you got your bag pump full of stalks, I don't. Look at mine, how good. I don't have lots of stalks in well, mine. Well, I'm sure mine's gonna have a lot of stuff because I'm just kind of going the first at it. Time you've done it. You know, I've never done it, so I'm going at it full blast. Yep. Now you don't want to pull them up by the roots. Nope. And you want to cut them gently without messing up the roots. And if you do pull one up by the roots. Stick it back down in the mud. That's what Daddy told you. That's what that's what 
Mr. Riggs says, so that's what we Mommy do. Mommy had two big trash bags for and I don't know if they was this big or bigger, probably bigger. Because Daddy buys them contractor bags. And if they're that big, then he got four, 15 quarts is what she got. 15 quart bags. Well, she, your mama did say she liked to have some to cook if I happen to use what she's got in the freezer for winter. Yeah. So we'll give her some of these. That's what I said. We can pick her a bag if our back ain't hurting too bad. Mine's already hurt. Yeah, mine's hurting too. All right, let's, all right, we'll stop from there and we'll we'll go back to it here in a little bit. Glory to Jesus. That's Thank a... you so much. Okay. I really hope it took if it didn't hey. you're in trouble. Louder. If it didn't take, you're in trouble. What are you talking about the camera? I don't know. This is a lot of hard work. It better work. Alright, so what do you got? I've got this bag and another bag come full. Alright, so they're heavy. They're that's... packed. Look at those. They're packed down in there. Look. Greens to lower and grass, but you can't help but get a little grass. So you gotta sort it? Yeah, you gotta sort it. Look them. We caught looking them. You have to look them and clean, wash them in salt water a few times. And All right, we'll get to that segment. So, yeah. so this is what we So, got. how much is this going to make? Is this going to make enough vittles last for? Yeah, we make probably five or ten quarts, probably, or more than that, but maybe ten to fifteen quarts. More than likely, be the be about ten to fifteen quarts. All right. So we're going to do some canning too. I'm going to freeze them. You know, like a freezer bag. Yeah. But y'all always canned them, didn't you? We canned them. Because there wasn't no such thing as a freezer bag. There was, but we had jars. We had to use them. It's cheaper to buy the, the flats than it is freezer bags. Well, David, I guess that's enough for today. That's enough? I guess that's enough for today, David. Okay. I'm done. My back's hurting. I'm ready. Mine's hurting, too. All right, well, this is an adventure, so we'll see how it turns out. We'll let you know if he like. Well, we're we're gonna let you know if he likes them, of course. But we're gonna also um, take you through more of the process. I hope y'all can hear me from the water. With the peanut butter one. Yeah, I'll try one. There you go. Thanks, sir. Oops. Please, <laughs> I won't tell you. I dropped a piece of my cake and I played the five second rule. Well, I just swept in here and some of this got mopped. Oh, David, that's what we tell you, you have to sell. We don't, we don't wait on you around here. If you want something, you want to get up and get it. It's running. Well, she's going to show you how to do it then, ain't you, Brenda? I know how to do it, but it don't matter if she shows us anyway. I don't know how to do it. Look. She's getting her some out. Now look. Is that a weed? Yeah. I know. Now that's a weed. Okay. I can't hardly tell the difference. I, was just I know them, when I look them what the weeds and the grass are. Brenda was doing a better job. My bag is full of probably weeds mostly. Probably a lot of grass too. Isn't that's it? why. Yeah. I, yeah, but I pulled most of the weeds and grass out of mine. Are you still? You're still going to find a few, but... Well, you're going to find a few. That's the way Greg was. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. Now listen close. Are you listening? You run your water in your sink over your grain and put salt on it. I know. Let it leave Oh, I know. I know. In case there's a bug, the salt will run them off of there and kill them. Okay. A lizard. A lizard. You get lizards and crawl dabs and everything yeah, in them. You so just didn't the know you got them. them. Okay. Run your water on them when you wash them. Wash them two or three times. So that sand down through there, you'll have, to have a little sand in the bottom of your pan when you. You've got a big dish pan. You can run your greens in there and wash them, dump that water out, and wash them. You need to wash them about three times. You just put the salt on them when you first weed. put them in the pan. There's some more weed, Brenda. It smells like some kind of mint or something. I don't, ain't that it? I don't know what it is, but some well, kind of Well, I was of helping her toward the end, that, and so on her bag, so it's probably some of my doings. Hers is probably no. better quality on down in there. I was helping her fill, finish filling that one up, so I probably do all kinds of junk in it. 
Did you get both bags pretty full? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you level have eight or ten bags. They're both like that. You pull them in quart bags. You should go and count them in your Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we canned them because we, you know. We canned them because we didn't have no, uh, no bags, but we no. had cans. They didn't have them baggies there. Uh. No freezer bags then. I told them we canned everything. So let's can some then, like like the way y'all used to do them. Let's can them, and then we'll freeze the bag some of the others. You put them in the, wilt them down, put them in the can, and put, and leave them in the hot water so they'll put your cans in hot water so they'll seal. I like to just cook mine off and put them in there and boil my lids and rings, and they'll still seal. That's, can, what, I'm, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say now. You, and you can turn your jar upside down in the hot water and get it good and hot around that rim, and then your can lids and the rings are hot, and you take them out of there and put them right on there. Is that the way y'all want to do them? I'm going to freeze them. <laughs> well, you just wilt them good. Just let them boil a little bit and make sure they're wilt, and then put them in your bag. You drain them good. Pour them down the sink and drain them. They smell good. You want me to help you, Mommy? Oh, they smell great. I'm cooking. just gonna get enough out there. Mommy, if you if you uh, wilt it down down right now, you know how much you get with what's already in your pot. Not much, maybe well, a couple bites. Not much in that pot yet. I'll tell yeah, you that maybe much. a couple bites. Be about all. Did you see many with flowers on them? Mm -hmm. A lot of them's got flowers. Yeah. You just clip that flower off. All you got to do. Right there. Mm-hmm. How come you can't eat the flower? Well, you can. Huh. That wouldn't be too good to eat the flour. Why, it tastes like the green. Maybe if you want to help me get a few out of here right quick, if y'all have to go. Let me get rid of this, sir. My feet wants to hurt today, is what it is. Y'all just not got the most of them out there, huh? Yeah, in that, in that one little section. Is there still more over there you can get, though? Mm -mm. I don't Not think really. there is. I don't think it's really. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. This is part two of our, our watercraft adventure. So I'm looking at them because you get weeds in with them, too, and roots and everything else like that one. But I'm going to plant that in our stream, and maybe we can get them come at least for the deer. Yeah, this them, is some of the ones I picked, so I might have got a little bit carried away. And, and doing them. So yeah, what? That's the first time he's ever really. See, I haven't had any for years. Didn't know where to get them around here. And then my dad found them, and so he shared the joy, and we yeah. went and got them. Yeah. But this is part two. Is looking them and getting all weeds and grass and okay. whatever out of them. Sometimes you might get, you might get a lizard. I don't think we got any lizards or anything, but it's possible. Just well, grab and throw them in your bag. In David's bag, it might be. It's hard to say. What? It ain't in mine. Mine look good. I've tried to go through them some. See, like our grass. <laughs> okay. So right now, what are you doing? I'm looking them. Looking them for anything bad. Bad greens, weeds. There's a weed in there that smells like some kind of mint or something. I don't know what it is. And I'm not sure if you can eat it. We never have. So then you just put them, then you put them in here with the, the good ones. Yeah, it's... I'm taking them out of one bag, looking them and... And then put them in here with the good yeah. ones. If they've got a flower on them, you might be able to eat that little flower. But what about this one here? It looks kind of. Mommy's always. It's okay. It's wilted. It's going to look like that. And then some when I'm done. Don't this one looks different? See though. there? Smell that. You'll know. Is that different? It's okay. Smell that, David. Yeah, it smells good, but I don't think you're supposed to eat that one. It ain't a green. No, don't put it in there. <laughs> I thought you was going to throw it in there. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I thought he was going to throw that down in there. So after this, it'll be uh, washing, washing time. time. It'll be the, the washing time. And then and then, we, then after that, what happens after that? We start, we, we start uh, boiling them down. When you start cooking them, 
I'm not really going to be cooking them. I'm going to be wilting them first. And after I get them wilted, then we'll go through another process of actually cooking them the way I want them and seasoning. You okay. cook and season the way you want. This is a good video. It's long, and I, ho I think everybody's going to love this video. This definitely Appalachian, because <laughs> you don't find a lot of stuff like this around here. You may have made these for us years ago. Okay. I don't know if you have. I don't remember it. I don't really remember ever eating anything. You don't know like, because but, I've always taken care of all this yeah, myself, you know. I know, was before we started doing the show stuff. Yeah. So you may have, I may have had it, but to the best of my memory, I haven't. I know I you haven't. had them at Mommy's. Well, maybe I have, but I ain't never cut them and picked them before like Mommy we did. Mommy and would be lucky enough to get some before, and we was always working. So I never, I never have, I never have cut them or nothing, but. Well, I, I mean, know for sure it's the first, first time you ever picked them. Yeah. You said cut them? Yeah, unless we use that knife. It's funny. i got to tell a story here real quick. It's on my friend Irene. I'm telling it, Irene. I'm going to tell it for sure, girl. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too private. Anyway, I had to laugh at her one day last week, but she she did it. It was true. I didn't, I didn't act like she wasn't true anyhow. I just couldn't believe it. Well, she lives at the beach, and... She uh, planted her some potatoes in February. She planted some other stuff too, grew some other plants, got them going and planted them in a little garden. And she dug those potatoes last week, but she said she was picking them and I had to laugh at her. <laughs> I said, what are you doing to them? She said, I'm picking potatoes. I said, you're picking them? And I asked her, I'm laughing at you, is it okay? She's like, yeah. And I said, well, huh. we always call it digging them because you don't really pick them. You have yeah. to dig them up. <laughs> well, maybe down on Myrtle Beach they pick them. Oh, you ain't supposed to say where. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's where she lives, ain't it? Well, she lives Sometimes, I Beach. guess she does or something. She lives at Myrtle maybe Beach. Maybe down there they grow on trees and they pick them. No, she planted them. So she had to <laughs> had to pick the... Here's Pick the taters. I am so proud of her though because she's nowhere near a country girl, but she's trying to be. She's trying to learn to be a hillbilly or a country person, and she's doing great. I am so proud of her. What's that thing sitting behind you? I don't know, but it better not be a snake. <laughs> no, it's not, honey. Oh. <laughs> you seen me? I was going to run. That's your guard dog. That's my guard dog. David pulled up in front of the house while going. She ran towards the front door growling. I said, That's your daddy, girl. Yeah, she she growls if I pull up and hear the gravels she's and so stuff. Pretty, she hear, she hears the she hears that she'll start growling. She's big, she's fat, and I bet you she, you know, it don't look like it just by looking at her, but I bet you she'll go fifteen to eight, probably eighteen pounds now. She might do it. She's fifteen to eighteen pounds. Let's see now. if she'll do her trick here. Let me let me see. She's no. Big. She's not sticking her tongue out. Normally, if you tickle her back here at the back, she'll take her tongue and stick it out at you. I ain't going to do it because I'm... Anyway. I can't do it for you this huh? time. All righty. Well, we'll see y'all back real soon. For the next part. Be patient. All right. All right. I'm going to wash them now. Oh, sorry, we on? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to wash them now. I'm going to wash some of them or a bunch of them. And I'm going to put some salt in my water. This has anything that's in there, will let go. If there's a bug on it or whatever, it cleans them good. What kind of salt is it? This is just Himalaya pink salt. It don't matter. You can use sea salt. It doesn't matter. We can always use regular salt, but we didn't have anything else. So you can use table salt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told David I was going to freeze these greens. He said, I want you to count them. I said, it's too hard on me. Well, and then he was talking to Mommy about it. And Mommy told him, said, well, David, we didn't, we didn't never have baggies and stuff. They didn't have baggies. If they did, it was just one of them little right. fold, fold well, sandwich bags. Couldn't we do some for the show, maybe like some canning and some freezy baggies? I'll do a couple and, cans. I'll can a couple cans. That's all. Yeah. So this is like we're going to wash it. Yeah, I'm going to wash them. And I don't know how many I can get in there at a time. Probably a lot. That old pan, where'd you find that pan at? Somebody, this girl moved and she gave it to me. She hadn't used it. That's the one I've been changing antifreeze in. I used to take a bath in one not too much. Nuh-uh. Is it? Yeah. No. It Re better not be David Hall. Do you reckon it hurt it? Did you Did you really? I used to use it to change antifreeze in. Did you clean it good? 
I did the best I could. Well, it looked clean to me. If no, I'm just kidding. No in it. I didn't. I didn't use a fan freeze. You never take my stuff out of this house and use it at your garage. It wasn't in the house. It was laying down. Unless I gave it to it you. It was laying down there over the hill. For a reason, you throwed it down there. No, I washed it good. I ain't never changed nothing in it. You better not use my stuff. This this thing. What I did used you? to take a bath in one not much bigger than this. That's all we had. Is either this or play in the rain, take a bath, go to the creek. It's all you had. In the winter time, this is what we took a bath in. A little bit bigger though. Well, I've used wash pans too over the years to wash in. I know that for a fact. We got and we didn't got in them. Yeah. What is all the white stuff that's on them? I, I know, oh, that's blossoms, I reckon. I got most of the blooms Your off. Your daddy of said you're supposed to take the blooms off. I tasted them. They taste just like the greens. Yeah. Well, some of them, a couple of them I tasted was hot, like it had hot sauce on them. Huh. So I don't know. But there's no weeds in here that I know of. Well, if it is, it's probably... Them pretty greens. Oh, they we probably picked a lot. They probably won't hurt you anyway. This is just one bag of them. Now, look, these stems should not be tough. If you think you got one that's too long, just break it off some. That's all you got to do. Just break it off and throw it over your arm some more if you're outside. You know, just break it off and put it in the trash. You gave your mom about a quarter of a bag. Well, so that's the smaller bag. Yeah. I told her to take what she wants. I didn't care if she took half no, the bag. No, uh -uh, no, we can't probably would never use, I don't know what we're. We'll eat them, trust me, we'll eat them. I know you've had them before, David, because I've cooked them. I mean, look well, at the years. Well, I don't remember, probably. You don't know because you was not around for this process. And I usually wash them in the house. I don't never remember eating anything that looked like that, though. I don't know what, what it ain't gonna look like this. It's not gonna look like this at all. I mean, it looks like a bunch of clover to me or something, doesn't it? <laughs> or something you feed looks the cows. Looks like good food to me, buddy. Mm -mm. Well, uh, well, yeah. if you don't think you've ever, you just don't remember them. You will once you take a bite, I think. All right, so what we're gonna do here is gonna, you're just gonna kind of rinse them out and I'll help you here. And Yeah, I might put some more water salt in here, but I'm gonna wash them in a couple of salt water so it doesn't okay. matter. All right, we'll be back in just a minute then. David Hall, you're getting on my life's nerve. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Why are you saying no, you're not? I'm the one that's saying you are. Because <laughs> I want to make sure all the procedures that you show, show them what you're doing so everybody knows exactly what's happening here okay. on this. If they find them some greens, if you're out in the country and you have these streams, you might be able to get you some oh, water yeah. fresh greens. Well, a spring-fed stream. Yeah, they spread. The springs are fed from the mountains. It's not, not some old nasty river. You're not no, going to find it in there. No, not old nasty river. No, you won't find them in there. But still, yet yeah, those things, those little things, they have cows that get in them, and this have to be washed and sterilized, and this salt is doing that. Okay, I've been helping you for a while, mush them, and you said he was going to do something else. I am. I'm going to do this now. Okay. They're good and clean the first time. So I'm gonna put them in this little pan and some pots and anything else I can get them in so I can get some fresh water and I cleaned the, the poop out of all this stuff, too David. Well, I cleaned the crap out of you it. nasty boy. I don't mean it in a bad way I just mean it. I worked hard and cleaned them the dirt and the filth that was in them From satin oh. Hurt your back don't it does mine too. Yeah, but those sciatica nerves have been flaring for a while. I need injections in them and I'm going to get them too. All right, so. I'm about tired of it. All right, so that's all we got to do there on this procedure, and then we'll Look be right. Look at this water, David. Yeah. Look at that water, how dirty. Well, get, would you ever think? Yeah. We got them out of a fresh. Let, it me, was let me get the clear. sun on there, something there. The water yeah. was clear. It, yeah, you're right, honey. Okay. See how dirty that water I is? See it. it was very clear. Yes, You'll it. still get dirty water even after we wash them again and okay. again. All right, I'll be right back in. And uh, then we'll start the second rinse, right? right? Okay. Okay. All right. So this is the second wash that we've done. He's been helping me move these all around like this real good to make sure they all get in that salt water and get washed real good. Okay, let's see what the second water looks like. Still right. muddy. Let's see if I can get the sun on it. Here. Now, there's going to be some green that's going to wash off these green greens. There's yeah. going to be some, so it's going to look well, a little green. Well, it's not as... The you, salt does that. You're not going to see it on the camera, but the the water is much clearer than the first time. Yeah, it's not dirty. It's more and, green. And our sun is just about just about faded away here. We're getting late on us. I just got home from work. So, all right. Yeah. We're, going, we're going to go one more time after that. We're going, to, we're going to go one more time and see if the water's a little clearer. And okay. Now, I also put salt in this water, and the salt is going to bring some of the green off, of the, the color green off of these greens. So okay. That's going to happen. 
All right. But you can tell if it's dirt or if that's what it is. And it's a lot of this is not dirt. All right. It's just off of there. And this also gives you an extra opportunity to look for a brown leaf that you might have missed or anything like that. Or if it's like seaweed. Uh, like no. I've seen on TV. <laughs> no, it's I don't know. All oh, right, be right back in. Okay. Okay. Okay, David, I think that these, I think this is good. Now, that's a green coming off of the green. That's just green water is all yeah, it is. Yeah, but I can tell it's, it's much clean. clearer. It's clean, it's clean. These it, are clean enough. Yeah, I can tell it's much clearer than the first time. We've washed them in two salt waters and one clear one to rinse, so now, I think we're good. I've been smushing on them things for 10, 15 minutes straight. I like to rinse so, all the salt off of them pretty good, you know. And, do you know I had an idea? What? Well, if we got that old ringer washing machine, I put them in it. Clean it real good and put them in that ringer. Cause when it, when and then wash machine goes. Yeah, and when you got them out, it would look, be little tiny pieces. Yeah. Now. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be your last roll with, yep. the, with the wash. That pot's going on top of the stove. All right, she's going on top of the stove after this. And then. I tell you, it does smell good, though. It smells real good. You yeah, can it kind of smell it even after. It kind of reminds me of uh, uh, collard greens. The way it smells, kind of like the smell. Like... We had a lot of collard greens when I was growing up. A lot of collard greens, seriously. When I was a kid. They're not my favorite. Your dad didn't like them either, but I loved them. Mommy don't like them either. Huh. I mean, some people like them. Is this, um, is this does this taste better than collards? I don't remember eating them. My daughter honest. likes collards. You say these? I just like to mix them all up. The now this is are called good by their self, but I like to mix them all up. So you call this watercress? These are watercress. All right. And your daddy said they come in the spring. And they'll come back in the fall. And they come back in the fall. Most okay. people don't pick them in the fall, and that's weird. I guess that's because snakes ain't winning yet. We didn't see no snakes at all. No, but I don't want to be in that water in the fall because might be snakes. Okay. So that's why mommy also likes to get them now. Mommy said, "Mommy said I ain't, I want to get me some of Brenda's greens. She'll get me a mess, and that way I won't have to open up my winter greens." And my brother just keeps laughing at her. She All put right. them in the freezer for this winter. Okay. So anyway, I think these are good, David. Now I'm gonna show you a trick, David. Okay. I'm gonna pile these as high as I can get them on this one pot. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you when they cook down, it ain't even gonna be a half a pot. Oh yeah. I doubt it. That's an old looking pot. I've had it for a long time, but it does a good job. It's I think I remember it, but soup. I ain't for sure. It's a soup pot. You can make all kinds if you boil off your chicken or beef or whatever you want to boil off. That ain't one of your... mom's old pots, is it? No, yeah. I've had this thing for a long time. I bought it at Family Dollar many years ago. I don't remember. I just know after she passed away, we got a bunch of her pots and stuff and bought them down. But, um,. I've I don't always know. bought stuff I need it, and you yeah. don't even know what I got or what I bought. Yeah, I know. It's well, I ain't right. never paid attention to A lot to... of men don't. A lot of men don't pay well, attention to that stuff. I never paid no attention to this stuff until we started doing just these like shows. David, you know, now I'm kind of paying attention. Food and, loved it. and I do serve them a lot of mixed greens, so I don't know. But we like kale. We like kale a lot. Right. I just remember a lot. Of... Well, don't look at my dirty kitchen, folks. I'm sorry about it. It don't matter. Um, all right, I'm going to try to wilt these down some. In front. You're yeah. getting that water on the stove. That's all right, David. It's not. Uh, it's going to be okay if it's on the stove. That's so. what ate the other one up. No, it ain't. It was your green cleaner. No, it wasn't. It was you pouring water all over it. No, it wasn't. So, what happens now? You, you, you going to try to? One more. I'm going to reduce these in size by a lot. I'm going to put some in that and then that one. This one's already got some in it, look. I put some in it before I put them in there. I mean the greens. I'm going to put some greens in it. Hold your taters, boy. I just need to leave you alone. Well, you need to see what I'm doing. I'm not going to put no salt in these right now. I don't need no salt. I will salt them when I'm cooking them or whenever I am going to preserve them. Okay, so this is called cooking them down. Cooking them down. Okay. Now I've had all kinds of chances to find little things like that. And you might find something like that here and there. If not, I guess you'll eat it, but it won't kill you. We try to look them as good as we can, and we wash them that many times and everything. So 
You might miss something every now and then, but I don't think I'd miss very much if I did. I mean, I just can't help from thinking that's enough to feed it. Like the whole city You'll or some town or something. You'll see, just gets wilted down. You'll see. These pots won't even be half full. And I'm going to pile them high. I'll add two of these. You want to see what? I'll add two of them. And we got another big bag to go. We got another bag to go. That ain't going to happen today, though. No, I can't. I can look some of them, but I can't cook them off today. What happens if Too you much. cook them off? What happens after that? I'm going to let them cool. I'm only wilting them. I'm not cooking them off. I'm just wilting them. Uh -huh. And I'm going to let them cool, and I'll either... Cook them on off and then freeze them, or I will put them in the baggies and put them in the freezer. They're going to be wilted enough if you. So cook this them. is pretty much it, then I guess, right? No, I got to still cook the greens to eat them. Oh, you got to. If we're going to eat them right now, they have to be cooked. This is just wilting. Uh huh. Listen to me, will you? Okay, I'm on. Okay, I've got three pots of these going. They're all boiling down pretty good. I've had them all. I've added to every one of them, and look. It'll be even less, just wait. So, they've been, after the water in them started boiling, they've been boiling maybe 10 minutes, probably around 10 minutes. I think I have ate these before. It looks like spinach. <laughs> I think you have ate them before, too. You just don't remember. It kind of looks like spinach now. It's starting. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's starting. Go ahead and say what it's you said. It's your say. show, too, dude. I know, but what was you going to say now? I said, it'll be even less. Just wait. So, we'll see you in a little while. So, you kind of... How long has it been now since you've been Probably cooking? The water started boiling. It's been about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah. All right. These haven't been that long because I started them with hot water and it's a big eye. This Stove eye. Yeah. It's, a big, it's a big eye. I call yeah. that an eye. Why'd you call it a stove eye? In case someone didn't know what you was talking about. It's a burner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm myself. We act like ourselves. It is a. It is a. I guess technically it would be a burner. I ain't never heard it called that before. We always called them stove ice. We called them stove right. too. Okay, we'll be back soon. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to cooking with Brenda and. Well, this is a continuance. David, yeah. it's a continuance. Yeah, it's not a new show. Of our watercress greens. Okay, we picked them in the branch. Then we looked them, and then I washed them in three waters, two salt, salt waters and a clear water, and I boiled them down, and now I'm going to boil them to eat and season them. <coughs> Every time I get a shot, I think I'm going to cough. Anyhow, so, I put them in this pot. So, what would you do with the rest of them? You got them in the freezer bags? Yeah, I've been put, I'm putting them in freezer bags. Right. I, I'll show you some. They can look just like this, only they're in the bag. Right. So, um... And this is eating time, though. This is going to be the eating time, and I'm going to get them to boil, and then we'll turn them down. Okay? So, <clears throat> I, what i done was, I boiled them to shrink them. This, I'm going to boil... You don't put anything in them when you do that. So, this time, I'm going to put this meat in here. This is a uh, fresh hog jaw. No salt. I boiled a lot of that hog jaws. Did you fr yeah. you fried that? I did fry it, and I got a right. lot of that fat off of it, and I poured it in there. But I, this has probably still got enough in it. I don't think it does, but I'm gonna put some more. And David will eat that meat, but I'm gonna just. This is where I put my bacon grease and everything at. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that over in it and some salt. And so I'm that's just a, a leftover of bacon grease from a long time ago. Bacon grease and this meat that I fried a couple of times. No, not a long time ago. I don't. I use it. I mean, all that's not from the day, is it? No. Oh. Good Lord, have mercy. No, I got some of it in my potatoes. I'm having some potatoes and onions. So now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them things to cooking. I'm gonna get them to boil, and then I'm gonna turn them down. And just put the lid on them and let them simmer. They got to simmer. They'll cook down real nice and they'll be so good. And I'm going to make me some cornbread. So I'm having fried potatoes and onions, some fresh water, fresh greens, and David some chicken and, and a pan of cornbread. So the, the water, pressed greens was already ready to eat after they were boiled down. You can, but they ain't and seasoned. They're not seasoned. So right no. now this is the seasoning. You just, I'm seasoning them with that fat meat. Just gonna, I should have really fried bacon. I think that would have been better. And I'm just going to yeah. put a little bit of salt in here, maybe a teaspoon to start. That's um. So you just kind of warm it back up with that stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's maybe half a teaspoon. I'll start with that. 
Let's see what happens. Well, I, I ate some of them when, before you seasoned them, and they, they were pretty good. Well, you can. It was like spinach. Would you like a bite? They're good. Well, yeah. I, I stir that up in there. It's sort of like spinach. Yeah. I'm going to just stir all that up in there. I might put some more of that meat. And it looks like spinach. It don't look like it way it was. It, don't, it does look just like, but any greens look like spinach after you cook them. Oh. So, all I'm going to do is simmer these. They'll probably go down some more. I'm just going to simmer them with the meat and some salt. And I'm going to look at that. That's terrible. Well, don't, oh, that's lovely. enough, then. I'm putting the, the, the most lean part in there. How long do you simmer it? I'm going to simmer it probably 30 minutes. Okay. Probably about 30. And I'm going to check them as I go. And I'll tell you about how long I've simmered them. Okay? Well, David will be right back, okay? Okay, listen, what I've done is I put my meat and my grease in there and I simmered it about 30 minutes. I got them to boil and just turn them down on low, you know, and then when you think they're done, just simmer them until everything else is ready. The potatoes is ready, the cornbread's ready, and, but it's about the greens this time, and I'm heating David some shake and bake chicken up that I fixed him yesterday in the microwave so let's get going here and fix the plate you want a big piece or a small piece? small this small? yeah you want butter? yeah you already put some butter on top I put it on top but I've already asked you you said yeah but I thought I'd double check it's all on the top and all down through it now that'll go all over it it's really good you think you want more? Okay, now let's put him some greens in the bowl. I'm going to put the greens in the bowl. Now listen, you can fry these greens the same way. Put your meat and your grease in there and fry them. And you'll have to fry them down on low, probably for about the same amount of time. And um, in here, of course, you have to have juice to boil them. And I love them boiled. And they're good fried too. So just whatever way you want to do it. So you add it more salt, kind of like to taste, I guess, yeah, as you do Well, it. you salt it, of course, unless you use salt pork. <laughs> if you use salt pork, you better taste it before you start salting too much. Okay. And um, so, well, only your tater, well, your taters and your meat. I said tater. <laughs> I, for, I forget how I'm talking sometimes. Y'all know I'm for real because I'm saying tater. And Brenda, I love that card that your husband made. It's so pretty. And all, and um, That's good. it's real pretty here. Her husband made this. It's just nice. You can write a little letter on the other side. Uh, it's real pretty. And um, Lisa, that gift card to Walmart was really a nice one. And I want to tell you, thank you so much. I'm going to um, buy a couple more things for this. Maybe well, something to make with it. You've already used it. Are you gonna yeah, buy some I, I made my cake, but I've already got that cake on there. Oh, okay. Ouch, that's hot. Okay, there we go. There's dinner, David Hall. We've got cornbread and shake and bake chicken and fried potatoes and onions and some greens. Is that enough greens? Yeah. You sure? Okay. Well, I tell you, it's a real process Let him taste this. for those greens. Uh, it's been a real big process for those greens. It's a big process. And looks like when y'all was growing up, y'all ate a lot of those. Like I said, if you use fat back or salt pork or whatever on those, please taste the salt content because you might not need to add a lot of extra. But the smoked hog jaw don't have no salt. Mm. <laughs> you mm. almost suck them hot things in your mouth mm. and it's like, oh, did you even taste them first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, good, honey. I'm glad you like them. They are now, good. Now, you have ate them before, haven't you? Yeah. It's just been a long time ago. Well, you just don't I, remember. I just probably got confused See, with spinach. He's never, he's never seen the process that I do. But, and well, this is the first time I participated right. in it, and picking them and out of the water and cutting them or whatever. Yep. And, you want some more in there? And uh, all the stuff that we that you done. Please but, tell me you're not going to put vinegar in them. No, on I spinach would. I would. Yeah, but spinach is different. Well, everybody. It's been a long process, and I hope y'all enjoy this video. Well, I don't know if I get all this on one. I may have to take two or three shows to make it make this all work out. I don't know what. This is pretty long stuff here, so I don't know if I can. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see for I'll figure it out, maybe. 
I want to say thank you to everybody for the cards and the letters and the gift cards and the gifts. Thank you so very much. Yeah. And I know I put those, mine's Sadie's birthday. Well, I didn't put mine out there. Mine's a few days before Sadie, but that's okay. I get plenty of gifts and stuff. And yeah. birthday cards is fine. But um, if you want to send Sadie a card or something, it's P.O. Box 35, Bent Mountain, Virginia. Two four zero five nine. And please watch our videos and share. Share, share, share. We appreciate it. Watch the videos all the way through and watch the commercials. Watch everything. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you later. Bye.